So what's up everybody? Welcome back to Chef Junie's TV. Today we got another episode of In the Kitchen where I bring you simple, easy, and affordable recipes for you to try it on in the comfort of your own home. On today's episode of In the Kitchen, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a nice romantic Valentine's Day dinner on a budget. This whole meal right here for two people only cost me about $25, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name out my list of ingredients and I'm gonna tell you how much I paid for each thing, right? Shout out to my homegirl Mimi. She been on my head about uh, telling you guys how much I pay for everything. She got a channel on here on YouTube all about co-parenting. I'm gonna leave a link to her channel in the description down below. Go over there and check it out and subscribe to her channel, all right? But we about to get into this video. Like I said, I'm gonna let you guys know all my ingredients and how much I pay for everything. So let's just jump right into it, all right? All right, so for my list of ingredients, uh, we're gonna start off with the ribeye, right? So I got a two pack of bone-in ribeye. It was on sale at Ralph's. Um, this stuff is pretty much always on sale at Ralph's or Kroger's or any big time grocery store like that. They're always on sale, right? So I got a two pack for $16.38, but we only gonna use one of these steaks. Let me give y'all guys a little bit of pro tip, all right? A little bit of heads up, right? It's Valentine's Day night, you and your lady or you and your man or you and your significant other. Y'all got one goal at the end of the night, right? And we all know what that one goal is. Do I need to say it? Anyways, we got one goal at the end of the night. So you don't want a big meal on your stomach right before y'all about to get, you know, do y'all adult stuff. Get get y'all get y'all groove on or whatever, right? So we're not gonna use both of these steaks. We only gonna use one of these steaks. I mean, if you got a big appetite, go ahead and use both of these steaks. But for me, I know when I get down with the get down, I don't wanna have a full stomach and I so we're gonna use one of these steaks, all right? So um this pack of this pack of ribeye was $16 and 38 cents we only gonna use one of those steaks so that's about a total of eight dollars and 41 cents then i got some garlic which cost me about 50 cents i got some rosemary which was about a dollar 50 for the bunch and i got some thyme which was also a dollar 50 for the bunch uh, my potatoes i got these four potatoes i like to use red bliss potatoes when i make mashed potatoes i just like the flavor of these potatoes better skin on it's delicious uh, these potatoes was $1.73. Then we got some broccolini, all right? We're not going to go with regular broccoli. We're going we gonna to step it up a notch. It's Valentine's, you know, broccolini. Why not? This was $2.99 for the bunch of broccolini. We ain't even going to use all that broccolini. Then I got some butter, right? I got one stick of butter. I'm using half a stick for the steak, and I'm using half a stick for the potatoes, right? Uh, the four-pack the four of butter was uh four dollars basically a dollar a stick so we use one stick that's a dollar right there and we got some milk right the milk cost me about a dollar 89 all right and then we got the same rosemary and thyme and we're gonna use this to flavor our potatoes all right now we also got some balsamic glaze i've been had this i didn't buy this but if you want to buy this in the store it's um 4.99 so we're going to ask to throw this into the price you can use this for everything this could last you a long time uh we're going to use this as a garnish and it's also going to add another element to the plate another flavor profile to the plate it's going to bring out a little bit of sweetness so basically this is a balsamic vinegar just reduced down into a glaze all right so with all those ingredients together the total price for everything was about $24.51, all right? I know y'all might be asking like, yo, why is Chef Junie in his chef coat? I have to, you know, break out the chef coat for you guys, let you guys know that I am official. This means that I am official. I know everybody could go buy a chef jacket, but your boy did go to culinary school. I have worked for five Michelin star, I mean, not five, three Michelin star restaurants. I have worked for two Michelin star restaurants. I have worked for some pretty high-end clients so your boy is official i just thought i had to break out the chef jacket just to let you guys know once again that your boy is official anyways let's get right into this video the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna trim up some of this uh ribeye we're gonna cut off some of that fat we're gonna season it up and we're gonna do what we call a reverse sear right so we gonna this is like a foolproof way to make steak we're gonna do a reverse sear on these ribeyes which basically means we're gonna start it in the oven uh, cook it to the desired temperature. If you like your rare, medium rare, well done, whatever. We're going to cook it to the desired temperature. I like my steak medium rare. So we only going to throw it in the oven on a 350 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. All right. Anyways, let's go ahead and trim up some of this fat, season up the steak and throw it in the oven. All 
All right, look how beautiful this steak is. So basically what we want to do is we just want to cut up some of this fat a little bit. Um, and you don't trim up the fat. You don't want that mouthful of fat when you eat steak. Um, some good, some fat is good. Like all this marbling on the inside of there is pretty good. But we want to go ahead and trim off a lot of this fat on the outside, all right? So we got our knife. We got our chef knife right here. And we just want to... Make sure you have a sharp knife, all right, people? We're gonna get rid of this bone too, but we're gonna leave the bone on to cook. But for now, I mean, later on, we're gonna get rid of the bone. See that fat right there? We don't want that. We don't want this fat right here, all right? So let's go ahead and season up. Our steak now. All right, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna hit it with a little bit of olive oil on both sides. That's gonna help that uh, season and stick to that uh, steak a little bit. You want a, a nice generous amount of salt. Remember, this is a pretty big steak um, and we are using kosher salt. We don't wanna use table salt or we don't wanna use any type of salt like that. This is a nice kosher salt. The crystals are a lot bigger, so it's not as salty, right? And we're gonna use some onion powder. We're gonna use some garlic powder. And this is off to taste. Uh, I would say about maybe half a teaspoon of everything, but you know, it's off to taste. And you don't have to use none of these seasonings. You can just use salt and pepper. We got some chili powder right here that we're using. All right, and then we're gonna do a little bit of black pepper. All right. Get this out the way. And basically, now all we're gonna do is, oh, pick all this fat right here. Let's cut that off too. Basically, all we're gonna do now is throw this in the oven, all right? We're gonna throw this in the oven, 350 degrees for about 25 minutes, all right? And this, this rib I weighs about a pound, all right? So we're gonna throw this in the oven and I'll be right back. All right, now that we got our steak in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and work on our potatoes, all right? I already cut these potatoes into four and cleaned them. These are gonna help the potatoes cook a little bit quicker. Uh, the first thing we wanna do is we want to get a pot of water. We don't want it hot. We want cold water. We're going to start with cold water. And we want to put a nice amount of salt in there. A good couple of tablespoons, all right? Potatoes are starchy. They're very bland. They need a lot of help with salt, all right? So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and get our potatoes and put it in the water. Remember, we want to start these cold. We don't want to start these hot. We want these potatoes cooked from the inside out. All right, and these are gonna take about maybe 15 minutes. So by the time these are finished, the uh, steak should be ready to come out the oven and we're gonna go from there, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and put this on high, get this up to a boil, and we want these to be fork tender. Basically, we wanna be able to take a toothpick and push it straight through the potatoes, and that's how we know we're done, all right? But we're gonna go ahead and let these potatoes do its thing. We'll come back in about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, test them to see if they're done. The steak in this oven, the broccoli is gonna take about five minutes to boil, and we're gonna be done with this stuff in a minute, all right? Anyways, I'll see y'all as soon as the potatoes are ready. Peace. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes. I don't know if you guys can see me through the, the smoke, but it's been about 15 minutes, and these potatoes are pretty much done. Um, when I say, fork tender or toothpick tender or however you want to say it this is what i basically mean you want to be able to take your toothpick or whatever and be able to stick it straight through with no resistance all right so these are almost finished pretty much they're pretty much finished now so we're gonna go ahead and um pull these off let's go ahead and turn this off i'm gonna go ahead and pull these off we're gonna drain these and i'll be right back all right all right, now that I got the water drained off, I'm gonna season up these potatoes in the bowl. I'm gonna do it in a bowl so you guys can see a little bit better. The first thing we wanna do is, we wanna add a little bit more salt to this. I wanna add some, I'm gonna use onion powder, and I'm also gonna use some garlic powder. We're gonna add our butter. We're gonna add our 
chopped up herbs that I told you about earlier, the thyme and the rosemary. We're gonna add some of that to there. And we're gonna mash these up. Get all that nice incorporated in there. Then we're going to add our milk. You use milk or heavy cream. Remember that's half a cup. And then you just want to give it a taste. Always taste your food, alright? That's perfect. Are right, we gonna set this to the side for now? Our steaks are already out the oven. We already pulled our steaks out the oven. We're gonna go ahead and do these broccolinis real quick. If you're on a stove top and you got all four burners, you could do all this together. So let's go ahead and um get our stove back out and cook these broccolinis real quick, all right? All right, just like the potatoes, we want to go ahead and salt our water pretty generously for these broccolinis. We want this water to be boiling before we put these in there, right? It's the opposite of the potatoes when it comes to the boiling, all right? So we're gonna get like a nice, the nicest bunch you see. Here's one, two, three, four. We're gonna use those four and then we're gonna save the rest for later, all right? So we're gonna use these four and we're gonna save the rest for later. All right, now that we got our water to a boil, we want to blanch these for literally like, like two or three minutes. All right, these don't we don't want these to be mushy. Uh, they cook pretty quick. All right, so we're just gonna blanch these for a couple minutes, literally like two minutes. And then we're gonna pull these off. I got my steak right here. We're gonna sear off our steak, and we're gonna plate all this stuff up, and we're gonna show you guys how we do it. All right. All right, let's go ahead and pull these off now. Put them over there. I'm gonna get rid of this pot and I'll be right back. All right, so now for these for this steak, what we want to do is we want to get our pan nice and hot, right? We want to add a little bit of olive oil to the pan, and now all we want to do is basically just sear this steak, all right? We want this pan nice and hot so that we can get a quick sear on this. That's why it's called a reverse sear. So we cooked it, then we seared it second. All right, so we're gonna throw that in there like that. We're gonna add our butter to it. We're going to add some of this rosemary and thyme. We're going to add some of this garlic, all right? Yeah, look at that sear. Now that we got that beautiful sear in there, all we want to do is baste this with all that butter and um, rosemary and thyme. We just basically want to baste this. Get some of that butter into all the nooks and crannies and crevices. All right, like I said, we just want a quick sear on there. We're going to go ahead and turn that off. We're going to go ahead and take our steak off and let it rest. So we're going to put it over there. Let's go ahead and throw some of this stuff on top of it so it can rest with it. We're going to clean up our station and we're going to plate this bad boy up, all right? I'm going to show you guys how we make this nice and beautiful, all right? All right, now that we gave this steak enough time to rest, we're going to go ahead and carve up this steak, all right? Like I said, I like my steaks medium foolproof way to get a medium steak 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes it depends on, on the, it all depends on the size of your steak too so don't take everything I say as 
facts, all right? Not facts, but so literally, all right? So we're going to cut off this bone. We don't going to throw this bone away because that's good eating right there, right? And then we're just going to go ahead and slice up this. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful medium steak. More than enough meat for you and your partner. All right, we're gonna go ahead and set this to the side and we're gonna start plating this bad boy up, all right? All right, we're gonna go ahead and plate this bad boy up, all right? So we're gonna get two of our fancy plates. If you guys don't have any fancy plates, they also sell these at Ralph's. These are about $4.99 each plate at Ralph's. We're gonna go ahead and plate these bad boys up, all right? So what I did was I put my balsamic glaze into a little dish. That way I can make some little art on the plate, right? So what I wanna do is, I just wanna paint the bottom of it like that, right? Now this is your time to get creative. However you wanna do this design on the plate, your ideas are your ideas, right? So what I like to do is, I like to take my broccolini and I wanna do like maybe a little pattern like that right there. Pull off some of these leaves off of it a little bit. We're gonna do it just like that, all right? Now, like I said, you guys can get as creative as you want. We're gonna go ahead and take a little secret ice cream scoop. And we're gonna go ahead and just drop that on there like that. Drop that on there like that. We're gonna take our steak and we're just gonna fan our steak out on top of the potatoes like like that Make it nice and fancy Then we're gonna take our balsamic glaze and just do a little drizzle like so on there. And then you guys already know how I like to sprinkle my parsley on there. And there you have it everybody. Chef Junie's Valentine's Day special on a budget, all right? Steak, potatoes, broccolini, you can't go wrong. This is a delicious meal. I hope you guys try it. Hope you guys like it. And let me know what you guys think, all right? So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below. And let me know about any recipes you want to see me do. Make sure you hit that like button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video, all right? Anyways, until next time, peace.